but is still the best girl in the game. Or he last checked off. The city that we were just in got started taking over by malevolence. And now we are leaving this area. We're gonna get on this boat and we're gonna fuck off. But I'll talk to you in a second. I got, I got this. I gotta pick up this item real quick. Okay, now we're getting on the boat. Sir, we just received a Sylph J from the boss of the Bloodwings. She has a job for us and wants us to meet her in Logress. How should we respond? Let's do it. Besides, we need to see if that demon in the villa was actually a Therian. Good point. And the Bloodwings might know something about the other Therians, too. We're heading for Logris. Prepare to set sail. Ready anytime! Saw half of that, then Chad died. No, I was just saying I'm getting started again, that's all. I'll do these I'll do these class four zones. That's really just an island with a bunch of strong monsters on there. I don't need that in my life right now. Oh yeah, I gotta turn. That's it. I don't need this on. Not with the shades on at least anyway. I lost my mother to a demon. Yet that girl's a Therian. I... I don't even know what I want anymore. Hey, that's pretty! You like to look at that thing, don't you? Yes. My mother... Someone very important to me gave me this. I treasure it a lot. Looking at it gives me strength. Do you want to see it? Yeah! Ah! What's wrong? My face! It's... it's scary! Ah! I don't want to look like that! I don't want my mommy to hate me! Mommy! Good job, Eleanor. Mommy! Look at what you done did. When I was her age, that's just how I cried. Come, Alana. I want you to see this. That huge owie. What happened? It's big and ugly, isn't it? There are scary things about my body, too. But... Do you think I'm scary, Kamalana? No, not at all. But are you all right? Does that hurt? Thanks, sweetie. I'm all right, I promise. What about me? Do you think I'm scary? You're such a sweetheart, Kamalana. Nobody could ever be scared of you. Not me, not your mother, not Lafisette. You don't have to cry anymore. It'll be okay. I promise. Okay. That scar, was it from a demon? Yeah. They attacked my village when I was a girl. I was so hurt, I couldn't move. But my mother lured them away from me so I could survive. What happened to her? The last thing she said to me was, stay strong and keep living. Oh. Come to the deck. Grimoire says she's learned something from the book. Hey, why is your face so red? It's nothing. <laughs> Somehow I doubt that. It's nothing, I, I swear. Yeah, I feel sorry. I feel most sorry for Luffy said because this got all, this got brought on with him in the room unnecessarily. Just like, hey, you want to see my tits and this scar? Do you all remember the second verse of that song Luffy said read earlier? Four Empyreans may tear him asunder, but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therian shall be forever reborn in sight of the full crimson moon. Right. That's what I've gathered you all here to discuss. 
And we think that passage means that Inomi Notch and the Therians will be revived by a chosen one, right? Yes, but the shall be forever reborn part kept bothering me. I've reconsidered my analysis. Suppose that instead of someone being chosen by Inomi Not to create Therians, the song means that Inomi Not chooses who becomes Therians. <sighs> but so long as there is one receptive to divine power, Therians shall be forever reborn. What do you think that could mean? That someone receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as a Therian. Like Kamoana! Which is to say that the Abbey figured out how to turn people into Therians, and then got right to work. That's... Are you really that surprised? Artorius has always been one to prioritize the many over the individual, as I well know. Another thing to consider is this wording about Therians being forever reborn. This could mean that one Therian will be reborn again and again. Or it could mean that different Therians will be born to take their place. Meaning that even if you kill one, there are more waiting in line. They can't be wiped out. Looks like prioritizing the one over the many was the right call this time, eh, Velvet? I never said I wouldn't kill her, if it would prevent Inominat's reawakening. But Therians can't be killed. Not truly. Hmm. So, in a nutshell, if you kill one, another person who's receptive to Inominat's power will be reborn as one. Right. But the song says that seven mouths feed the body. So there's only so many around. If you don't kill them, the next ones won't be born. Exactly. So we remove the seven Therians from their Earth Pulse points instead. But then, we also have to protect them so the Abbey doesn't steal them back. Or kill them. Sounds tricky. We've got to protect my bug, too. Yeah, you take real good care of that thing now. Got it? You bet I will! In that case, we should probably work on securing a proper hideout for ourselves. You got a secret base or anything, Aizen? It's every man's fantasy, but sadly, I don't. We need a hard-to-find spot. One where we can guarantee a steady supply of malevolence for the Therians. Hmm, somewhere devoid of people, but full of malevolence. Real poser you got there. With the Abbey in control of the entire continent, finding a place like that will be easier said than done. Meanwhile, Inominat's reawakening draws ever closer. We'll have to keep collecting our Therians while we search for a hideout. For now, let's just get to Logris. I'm gonna get stopped somewhere else for more story. Nope. All right then. Yeah. Just. I mean, you don't trust her, Jazz. I don't trust her right now. She's gonna turn. Hey, old man. Give me all the water and food you got. Wait your turn, moron. I was drifting out at sea for three days. Almost died out there. We here. Poor you. You probably deserved it. Say that again, wise ass. I dare you. Ah, uh, shut up, both of you. No one's getting anything until you pay me what you owe first. Uh, are they gonna be okay? Don't pay them any mind. Sailors are just a short-tempered bunch, that's all. Huh? The hell are you doing? What's going on? They've jacked up the price to dock our ship here. Oh yeah? Some real balls you've got there, buddy. If you lot want to moor here, that's the price you're gonna pay. Look, pirates are a liability to begin with, but calling your crew infamous these days would be putting it lightly. The more wanted you are, the more it's gonna cost to hide you. Capiche? <sighs> Hard to argue there. Benwick, just pay the man what he wants. <sighs> yes, sir. You're such pushovers. You and the captain both. I knew I could count on you to come through, Eisen. Pleasure doing business with you. I want him to you. die. I want him dead. Looks like I'm causing you trouble. It comes with the job. Don't sweat it. Some sailors just have longer tempers than others. <laughs> Noted. It's a good thing jacketless outfit. Oh yeah. We're doing this, baby. 
this this isn't it. Oh, this sucks. Yeah, this suck. That sucks as a as, as a uniform. Why? Whatever. I'm keeping the jacket on. The jacket's better anyway. Yeah, still, I feel more sorry for Luffy said in that situation because he didn't ask for any of that. He's just like, hey, how's it going? Like, I'm just in here minding my own business. Then Eleanor's just like, let me take my shirt off to show you this scar that's right on top of my boobs for some weird reason. Just when are we going to be allowed free access through Vortigern? Having to go all the way around it every time is far too inconvenient. If they insist on building a big gate over the sea, the least they can do is let honest folk through it. I get why you're upset, but maybe they just haven't been able to devote the resources to fix it after those savage demons wrecked the place. Look, those demons who attacked Helavis are still in the loose, aren't they? Yep. Standing right here. From what I heard, the demons who wrecked Vortigern were the same ones that killed the High Priest. What? No way. Wait a minute. The High Priest was killed? Yeah. The official story is that he's injured or sick or something, but I heard differently. Then no wonder they haven't had time for Vortigern. I hope the Abbey finds those demons quick. Those monsters need to pay for what they did. Hmm, looks like our infamy is growing by the day. Maybe they've even put a bounty on us by now. They keep embellishing our escapades, though. I'm honestly a little hurt they're calling us monsters. The more they embellish, the easier it is for us to get around. Confusion and panic will only help us. Yeah, that was. Yeah, that that jacket was a letdown. Thought it would have looked better than that, but it didn't. I'm just gonna continue. All right, everything's all fixed up. Now to polish this ship from top to bottom. You really throw your back into your work, don't you? Why shouldn't I? The Von Eltias, our pride and joy, our weapon, and most importantly, our home. I'm sure you've heard this before, but she's one odd-looking ship. The Valeltia was built by the Kingdom 12 years ago, using the very best technology available. She was designed for search and seizure operations on the high seas. Apparently, her unusual design comes from an engineer who is familiar with technology from the far continent. But on her maiden voyage, a string of mysterious accidents took the lives of the captain, then the second, and then the third in command. People thought the ship was bad luck. She was about to be scrapped when Captain Eifried came and snatched her for himself. If the ship was bad luck, why did Eifried want it? Well, I'm sure part of it was that he wanted a sturdy ship capable of reaching the far continent. But when I asked him why, he said, she looks interesting. She's too interesting if you ask me. We've been chased by storms, struck by icebergs, attacked by a giant whale. You name it. Three years ago when the first mate arrived, it all made sense. To think we'd been haunted by a reaper the whole time. Oh, come on. Don't go blaming the captain and the first mate for every bad thing that happens. I bet you're all just frustrated because you're forced to go where they tell you. None of us are forced to be here. We're here because we choose to be here. And we do so fully knowing what sort of men the captain and the first mate are. Anyone can leave the crew whenever they like. We're free pirates, each of us, here because we want to be. Some of us love adventure, some are looking to test their fate, and some are just searching for a good place to die. We're a ragtag bunch of rogues, that's for sure. But not a one of us has died carrying regret or resentment. So we're glad to help out you and yours. But you'd best not forget what we stand for. I won't. They're quite the crew, aren't they? Were all those accidents truly caused by your power? Yeah. I've been searching far and wide for a way to lift the Reaper's curse. But when I couldn't find a single thread to follow on this continent, I turned my eyes to the other side of the ocean. And that's why you boarded this ship. And a fine ship she is. The Von Eltia was built from 1,000-year-old wood, you know. Before I found my coin, she was my vessel. But then the accidents came. And then Eifried stole the ship. Did he know you were on board? Definitely. He had pretty solid resonance going for him. Although at first, I think he assumed I was just a dour-eyed lover worthy of little notice. I suppose being a Reaper tends to take its toll like that. <laughs> no argument there. But still, whether they could see me or not, they didn't act any differently at all. I fought my damn curse with everything I had. 
And Eifried and his crew fought right along with me. Hell, we even finally made it to the far continent. And you didn't find anything there? To help with your curse? I didn't even look. But that's why you went there, isn't it? Eventually, I just got tired of fighting back. The crew, they taught me how to feel alive. And the joy of pursuing my dreams alongside good friends. <laughs> visit, visit Tabitha at the tavern in Logris. So to the tavern I go. I gotta visit this, I think this savage ass old lady. No, that's not, that's not her. Man, I heard that the merchants in Port Renied are making a killing now that the Seagate is shut tight. No, 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 nothing compared to a merchant like you. There are people profiting from this? What are you talking about? Anyone who wants to head to North Gan has to sail around West Gan now. And those ships need to put into Port Renied for supplies. That is true. Still, it's only until Vortigern is repaired. Your friends in Renid wouldn't happen to be paying off the Abbey to delay repairs, would they? You think that'd work on the Abbey? They're not as lax as the church was. So that's it. You're in cahoots with the church. Hey, relax. I'm just saying, there's a lot of nasty rumors circulating about those Especially priests. Especially if they're Catholic. So not everyone's been hurt by Vortigern's closure. Interesting. There's a front and back to every coin. Except your coin only ever turns up tails. So is this not the tavern? Is this not where I was supposed to be? I should be in the right area, just go, oh, I gotta go turn in my EX monster thing, cause I did kill one. Ah, the only thing I got left is the uh, overzealous spider, cause I killed this thing. This was a few streams ago I killed this thing, and I killed this on the last stream. So the only thing I got left is this overzealous spider in the Avalon ruins. If something tells me this isn't it, I think this is the warehouse that I set on fire. Yeah, this is the warehouse I set on fire. There it is. Okay. So yeah, no, definitely not. Definitely not this. Bloodwing butterflies operate in the Empire's shadows. Not even the Abbey knows their full scope beyond whispers and rumor. And you all have a connection to them, don't you? Dark and interconnected is the underworld. We've heard voices in the shadows, glimpsed faces behind paper-thin masks. The attack on High Priest Gideon. Was that at their behest? Yeah, the Bloodwings asked us to take him out. We did it in exchange for information that could lead us to Artorius. Information? You would assassinate a man for mere information? Yes. Information on the shepherd who rules the world. Not a bad deal, if you ask me. We just work with them when our interests align. Nothing more. That's the kind of thin justification I'd expect to hear from them, too. But the Bloodwings were acting upon knowledge that the High Priest was harming the people of the city. You're right. The 
incident with the nectar was the church's failing. And it seems that the Bloodwing Butterfly Network goes further and deeper than we had thought. They knew about the barrier at the throne, too. And Velvet's expertise at Dove Mimicry. <sighs> Would you stop bringing that up? Dove Mimicry? What does that mean? I have no idea. There was a Dove near the dock checkpoint. That's all. Huh? Right! It was a black, full-chested Dove, wasn't it? Cuckoo! A black, full-chested Dove? Is that some sort of underworld code word? The <laughs> Dove Mimicry. <laughs> Alright, I am... This is not it. God damn it. Okay. All these skits that I'm playing unnecessarily just because I don't know where I am. That's another class four administrator's zone. Yeah, I'm supposed to go here. To Logris. So I gotta go to Denon. I just can't, I just can't fucking go to low guy. Uh. Yeah, there was a skit, Jazz, that you missed last stream. That I I gotta I gotta show you. If I can find it. I wonder if I can if I can even find it. Cause even re like even reason was here for that one. And it was hilarious, but I still need to find it if I can. I don't know why I'm looking in there for that. Ford's excellent. Candix, Grenade. So I gotta go to Zexon, like I was doing. Yeah, there's just there's this particular skit that I want you to watch, but I just don't know if I have access. I don't know how to access the skits that I've already had. You know. Because it's hilarious. Because reason one, Chris Hansen called. I don't know if I have to quit to the main menu. Quick save. This is controls. I don't know how I did that. That's just a license. I don't think I can show you. That is unfortunate. I should probably have clipped it. Oh, something there, but I'm not, not worried about that. It was a lot tougher to get in the first time. 
More funny than tough, if you ask me. Oh, you mean Velvet's little dove act? Coo coo. I'd be careful teasing her if I were you. You know how she can get. Oh, don't act like you didn't enjoy it too. I'm sure you did, right? Good little boys don't lie to adults, you know. I might have just a little. Say it like a dove. It was funny. Coo coo. It's it's part of that. Is Inominot's book so difficult? Grimoire seemed perplexed by it. Yeah. She said it was written in ancient Avarost, a language that uses impressionist script. I've never heard of impressionist script. Each character can have many different meanings and readings, depending on the emotion it's expressing and the way it relates to the characters around it. Some Wait, modest man, records on its grammar and structure survive. But none that say how to read the emotion the characters express. Grimoire said that you have to recreate the writer's feelings as a sort of starting point in order to read it. I see. And you have a talent for that sort of thing? I guess I do. But a script based on emotions? That's as far removed from modern language as can be. Yeah. It's completely unrelated, apparently. How can it be completely unrelated? After the temperance of Avarost, the entirety of human civilization vanished. The language went with it. Much as a blooming flower loses its petals, the Avaros civilization grew too far and came to its final end. The surviving buildings and ancient tools, the likes of which our technology cannot replicate, were the beginning of that end. In any case, it sounds like deciphering that writing will take quite a while. Sorry, I said it was something relating to the script. No, it wasn't. Uh, what 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 happened that even got a reason was uh, Magi Lu well okay Luffy said was talking to Magi Lu about all the books that she has at her hip like these uh, like all of these books right and, each, and uh, Luffy said was like okay what the hell are all those books and then she made up a bunch of stuff and she just, and then Luffy said was just like hey what about the one that's like like that's like right in front of you here right so like hey what's that one in front so she lifted up the book showed her like showed him her panties and shit and and uh Luffy said just like oh so that's what the hell that's for and reason one the cops called he's like, he, he's like yo i'm not for this whatsoever i want nothing to do with this I don't think I have to worry about fighting the monsters out here, though. Yeah, they're, yeah, they're, yeah, they're running away from me. Yeah, that's right. Man, the capital sure is big. Yeah, with historical buildings and artisans and all, there's much of interest here for a boy who loves to learn. Uh-huh. Sightseeing's nice and all, but don't wander off and get lost. Oh, yeah. Sorry. Don't worry about him. He can take care of himself. I know. I was just saying. You look like travelers. I have some good news for you. The restrictions on travel to the Aldina Plains are going to be lifted soon. The road's opening back up! So, that's the latest word on the streets? Ha! <laughs> I see what you did there. I try to liven things up around here. <laughs> well, ever since Lord Artorius became the Shepherd, demon attacks have gone down. The world's filled with hardships. But perhaps things are starting to go in the right direction. Perhaps. The demons who nearly destroyed Helavis are still skipping about on the loose, though. What? And just the other day, a village near Isalt was destroyed by the demon blight. Guess the capital doesn't mind, though. What? Don't worry about it. Your shepherd and the abbey are going to save the world, right? Um, listening to you has kind of gotten me all nervous again. If you hear any other scary stories, let me know, please. Hmm. I've got one with fresh blood, melted bodies. Oh, oh, maybe that tale about the demon doll that comes alive. If you're going to waste time, we're leaving you here. Well, that's enough of this detour, then. Sorry to be such a drag. Wait! That doll one sounded really cool! 
And all Magi Lu does is incite violence on a whim. Or mass hysteria. What the hell's going on here? What's with this crowd? Majalu's troop just put on a real show. Man, it was the best. Her dancing was every bit as great as I'd heard. Wow, the Majalu? Surely you mean Magilu. Has my time to bask in fame finally come at long last? No, we're talking about Majalu, not Hold that Magilu. L. You know, Lulu, the famous dancer? She actually goes by the majestic Lulu, but everyone calls her Majalu. Just watching the beauty of her dance, you can't help but feel like maybe everything's gonna turn out okay in the world. Sounds like a pretty cheerful act she has. Cheerful? This is all a rip-off! She's just trying to pass off as Magilu's menagerie and profit from our good name! What good name? We don't actually perform anything. I was planning on getting started eventually, but now this con artist comes along and ruins everything! I can't just ignore that, you know. Hello, Hoochie Mama. <gasps> it's Modulu! You did great today, Modulu. I loved it. Thank you so much. But according to my teacher, I still have a long way to go. I'll work hard to do better next time, so I hope you'll come see me. Modulo's teacher is a dancer named Balta, whose immense talent brought him all the fame in the world. But Balta suffered a tragic injury that took him forever from the stage, and now Modulo was working hard to carry out his dream. Huh. So, you're Modulo <laughs> then? She sounds so salty. I am. My look teacher and I work really hard body. to put on performances that'll leave a lasting it's impact. Be but look at that perfect body. <laughs> and I refuse to let anyone call me oh, a phony. God. Oh? And how do you propose to stop me? Taking it to the stage and seeing which one of us can better hold a crowd? Yes. That's just what I was hoping for. Lulu, don't go around picking petty fights. But sir, this woman, she... You should know better. If you have the energy to spare Small spitting no vitriol <laughs> at people, you should refocus that anger into moving your body. If you need to express yourself, do it on the stage. Y yes, sir. You're right. <sighs> Teacher, is the pain acting up again? It's no matter. What does pain compare to losing the ability to dance? Anyway, what matters is how you're holding up. I'm fine, sir. Good. Then let's head back and practice some more. He seems strict. He does. But keep in mind that Balta recognized her talent at a young age. He even adopted her so he could pass on everything he knew. He might be strict, but only because he believes in her. You sure know an awful lot about them. I'm sort of a fan of theirs, you could say. A teacher and his student chasing after the same dream. What a sweet little story they have. That's why I think it's high time for Mogilu's menagerie to put on a show. And for our act, we'll be a comedy duo. Comedy? Where'd you get that idea? You heard me propose a challenge to little Majalu, right? But not one of you knows a single acrobatic trick! Sorry... Don't apologize. You couldn't have seen this coming. Well, you could act like you feel a little bad at least. Now normally I'd make you guys do something flashy like jump through a ring of fire, but I'll be magnanimous and let you do comedy instead. With comedy, I can take control of the stage and keep things lively. I can feed you the audience on a platter. But, but going on the same stage as Modulu, it's too much to handle. Oh, I can't wait to take her down a peg or two. I'm out. I don't even know why you're bothering. It's hopeless. It's not hopeless. Plus, if we do well, we'll be raking in the dough. What better opportunity do we have to get started than now? After all, people will come thinking we're Majalu's troop. You're sure eager to profit off of her good name. 
That's exactly the material I want. Keep throwing out such zingers and the audience will be in stitches. I'm not sure I follow, but okay. The only thing getting thrown out is gonna be you. You know, I think you could pull off being the straight man in our act. What? Keep your compliments to yourself. This plan might sound dumb, but more money never hurts. Aizen, not you too. Then it's settled. Now we just need to book ourselves a few gigs. I've got an in with all the stage directors in town. For now, I think everyone should pair up so we can figure out just what sort of comedy chops you all have. Everybody? Even me? Certainly. Each one of you is a part of Magi Lu's menagerie, after all. I... I'm not so sure about this. All right, then. Hey, a treasure chest. That I can't use. All right. Side quest. Whenever I hear Magilu's name, I can't help but think of Magilanica. Magilanica? Who's that? Oh, she's just a girl who worked as part of the freak show. Talked to spirits nobody else could see. That's her, all right. She had many mysterious powers. Like moving things without touching them and divining where people would find lost objects. For a time, people called her the Little Witch. She was pretty popular. Thanks to her, the rest of the troop took in plenty of cash. Or so I hear. Yeah, but eventually they took it too far and the kingdom tried them for heresy. I hear Magilanica was subjected to really brutal torture. True fact. Everyone knows this story. Well, I've never heard it. That's not too surprising. It all took place when I was a young woman myself. Remind me, Magilu. How old are you again? What? How old would you say I am? Well, from your reaction, I can at least tell you're not my age. Ah, women. The only, the only gender that can ask other women how old they are and not come off as an insensitive ass. Must be nice. Holy side quest, Batman. What do we have over here? When will the High Priest no. return to us? Keep this between us, but I heard Lord Gideon was killed by demons. Surely that's not true. It most certainly is true. Hey, shh. They'll hear you. I know someone who works in the palace, and he said the demon was a girl with the head of a wolf and the body of a gorilla. But how could a demon have gotten into the palace? Apparently, there was a power struggle among the higher-ups, and Gideon's enemies snuck the demon into his villa. They say that's why people sometimes heard terrifying screams coming from the place. Uh, is the demon still there? No idea. Rumor says she escaped, but I wouldn't worry. There's no way she'd stick around here. That's what you think. She's right here, so you'd better watch out. Stop messing around already. The nights are so cold of late. It's gotten harder to get flamestone, too. I hear the port at Halabiz is at a near standstill. No matter how much flamestone they mine from Mount Kilaros, they can't get it shipped out. I'm sure the Abbey is aware of the situation. It's not just us who are suffering. We have to endure. Times like these is when we need to practice Lord Artorius's teachings. The many outweigh the individual. Exactly. I'm sure Lord Artorius will think of us soon and send aid. He doesn't give a damn about any of you. How dare you! The many outweigh the individual, right? Artorius wants to save humanity as a whole. Your individual troubles aren't important to him. You have no idea what you're talking about. Aren't we part of the whole he wants to save? What happy fools. Sorry about that. She didn't get to see his speech, so she's been taking it out on everyone around her. Really? What a troublesome kid. But really, that speech was incredible. That's right, Velvet is like 19. You wouldn't be able to tell with the clothes that she wears. The hell is... I don't feel like going up there, so I won't go up there. Eleanor, I need you to wait outside. 
The boss of the Blood Wings knows an exorcist is with us, but... Say no more. I'm sure they have clients who wouldn't appreciate their faces being known to the Abbey. Correct. Lafayette, said, you stay with Eleanor. Okay. I'll be back soon. My thanks for coming all this way. It's been a while. Would you care for a peach pie? What do you want? Oh, it would do you good to unwind every now and again, you know. Stretch a bow too far and its string is bound to snap. What do you want? <sighs> I would like you to escort this person out of the capital. Something smells about this. Literally. Where am I taking them? Somewhere the authorities can't reach them. Sounds nice. I could do with such a place myself. No joke. We've been looking for a place to lay low, but we haven't had any luck yet. Well, come to think of it, I've heard a rumor that it's been a while since the Abbey has had any contact from Titania. Prison Island. Titania? But I thought the Abbey was in direct control of that place. Has the situation there gotten that bad since you left? Sometimes the answer is right under your nose. I think it might work. Yeah, could make a decent hideout, actually. The Therians could definitely get their fill of malevolence there. And the Abbey is far too goody-goody to imagine an escaped prisoner would ever return to her prison by her own free will. At the very least, I'd say it's worth checking out. I take it our intel has proven useful? It has. But before we go, have you heard anything about the Abbey harboring demons? I'm aware there was a demon in the villa, and that it has been relocated. Where? I can't say right this moment, but I'm sure we will find out shortly. All right, then in exchange for this passenger's safety, I want more information on that demon. You've got a deal. Aizen, I heard about your confrontation with Melchior. I'm sorry I wasn't able to help you find him. Yeah, you really blew that one, toots. It's fine. What's done is done. Have you given up on finding Eifried? No, I haven't. The crew and I will do whatever we can to quash the Abbey's plans. We do them enough damage, and the Abbey ought to start thinking about putting their hostage to good use. They'll set him up as a trap for us, and that's when we'll steal him back. Attacking the Abbey to create an opening for his escape. Clever. It's what Ifri would do. That's all. This story is getting juicy. They're taking a while. Yeah. The Shepherd has a special mission for you. You are to protect the Malak Lafiset and bring him to the Logris Abbey headquarters. <sighs> What's wrong? Hey, you want to take a walk around the capital for a bit? I can show you oh some no. of the sights. But, um... You... You can't trust me. I understand. No, it's not that. I promise. I'd love to go sightseeing with you, Eleanor. Luffy said. Uh, well, we'll do it another time, okay? Why? It's just, you know, Velvet would get mad at us. Get mad about what? Ah, you're done. And who is this? A VIP entrusted to us by the head of the Blood Wings. We're stowing them away on Titania, where the bad guys can't get at them. The prison island? Just who is this person? Didn't ask. What? <sighs> hey, something smells nice. 
Huh? <laughs> Stop sniffing things. We're leaving. Who is that caped man? I do not know, but his hawk seemed extraordinarily well trained. Trained to hunt, maybe? I'd imagine. It takes a great deal of time and money to train a bird like that. <laughs> what is it? I smell something nice. <laughs> Indeed. The scent is somehow familiar. <laughs> It can't be. Hmm? What are you two sniffing at? Aha! They're bloodhounds on the hunt! But... We're talking about hawks hunting, aren't we? Come again? Oh, I'm sorry. Please excuse my poor manners. I can't believe you take a job without bothering to ask who you're escorting or why. The less you know, the less trouble you invite.